Perhaps some of you have been rocking your Quest 2 for a while, but it's still stock and you have stock straps, but it's getting dingy. It's getting brown, it's getting dirty. And you ask me, how do I clean it? Well, one problem, I don't keep a stock strap on long enough for it to get dirty, but we're gonna figure out how to clean them today. Let's take these out to a field and let's get these things dirty real quick. So as you can see, my problem with stock straps is I don't get them dirty enough. Some of you sent me some pictures of some really gross ones and wondered how to clean them. So we brought them out here to get them dirty. Oh, ho, ho. if it isn't our old friend. Boy, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's still barely turning. The gear is kind of moving. We'll take that out and do something fun with that. Now, if you find a way to get your strap this dirty in regular VR use, you need to rethink your life. But we're gonna take these three inside. We're gonna wash each in a separate way and figure out which one comes out the cleanest because those are really dirty. After burying these to get them nice and dirty, I then let them just bake for a couple of weeks, sitting out in the open air to really let the dirt get in there. So I figure we've got three, three different processes I'm leaning against the power button, apparently. We've got three different processes. We're gonna try to see which one comes out the cleanest. They're all a pretty comparable level of dirty here. We're gonna run one through the washing machine on heavy duty. We're gonna run one through a dishwasher, top rack also on heavy. And then last, we're gonna hand wash one of them. We'll see which one comes out the cleanest, but one factor to keep in mind here, this may not measure how much damage your strap is actually taking. <laughs> No, that's a lot of damage! Because one time through a washing machine, it might be fine. But if you did 10 times, you might start to take the glue apart. It might start to mess it up. So keep that in mind in this test. We're gonna put one in here. I'll do the thing I think you technically probably should do and put this in a laundry bag. Go heavy duty. And we'll do a full load of laundry with a little pre-wash. We'll be back here in about Two hours, I think, is how long a heavy duty takes. So we'll head over and find a dishwasher. Strap number two, we're gonna try in a dishwasher. I personally wouldn't recommend ever doing this. This is an old trick that people used to do with ball caps a lot. They put them in the top rack of there and just run it through their dishes to clean the hat. In the interest of science, we're gonna try this for you. Science rules. But I would say don't try this at home. And even if this comes out really clean, this is not the way I would wash a strap. Because it is cloth, I'm gonna turn the heat and dry off and put that on heavy wash. And while that's happening, we're gonna to try to hand wash this other one in hot water with Dawn dish soap. Tough on grease, not on hands. Okay now, sweetie, this isn't gonna hurt at all. Ah, those lying bastards at Johnson & Johnson! We'll put no more tears on the label. But it does make you cry. I know. <laughs> <laughs> does your plug work on both sides or just on that side? What, what is this? <laughs> Where's your plug? I don't have one. You don't have a plug? Nobody gave me one. I gotta go home and get a damn plug. All right, we've got a nice hot soapy load of water here. I'm gonna put a little extra soap directly on the strap because this is pretty dirty. Hopefully your Quest 2 never gets this dirty. If it does, you need to play in cleaner places. That's just not okay. I'm gonna get it all wet and then I'm gonna leave this in here soaking for a while because this is a nightmare and also because this water is really hot. Okay, we're gonna let that soak for a bit and come back. All right, it's been soaking for a while. I brought over what I use to clean rims on cars, this brush to try and really get in at it. I will be impressed if any one of these straps comes out completely clean after what we did to it, but this will probably just end up being a comparison of which one gets the cleanest. Although I gotta say, the Dawn soap and the brush is, is doing work. So test number one, dishwasher with a normal amount of dish detergent did pretty poorly in the test. It's funny, you can almost see where the dishwasher does a better job from the zones, but the underside got much cleaner than the top side. 
Dishwasher, no go. One, you don't know what kind of heat and stuff you're subjecting the adhesives to that are in here. And two, it just doesn't clean it well enough. Gross. Result number two, washing machine on heavy duty actually did a pretty good job. It was inside a fabric bag, although it somehow found its way outside of the bag. It's pretty clean. There's a few spots in here, basically where the washing machine couldn't get to it because this thing was over or something was covering something that, that still stayed a little dirty. But again, you're not gonna be getting a strap this dirty. I've got to say the washing machine cleaned it way better than I expected. Result three, Hand wash with Dawn soap, by far the best. I wouldn't say the strap is like new, but it is clean enough that I trust putting this back on my head. In fact, we're about to film something else with a stock strap and I will be using this one back on my head again. Hand washing with a brush or even with your hands, because it shouldn't get this dirty, is really the best way to go in my opinion because you can see what you're doing, you can focus more on a spot that's dirty and you don't waste energy or wear and tear on a spot that isn't that dirty. You can really clean it yourself and clean it quickly and then just leave it out hanging to dry. I'm super surprised this came back to life as well as it did. Hand wash with mild detergent and it will come right back to life surprisingly well. So what do you think? Have you ever had to clean your strap? Does your strap not get gross enough to need cleaning? or did you replace this awful strap long before it ever got dirty? I'd love to know in the comments section. Thank you to those of you who requested this video and were interested in seeing how to clean it. I hope this was helpful to you out there and I will see you in another reality. Fingerprint right on the lens. <laughs>